Intermittent self-catheterization is performed by intermittently inserting a catheter, which is a tube to drain the urine into the urethral opening and advancing it into the bladder to allow the bladder to empty. Only people who know the correct technique of proper insertion and how to use the catheter should perform this procedure. Welcome to this Hollister Education Instruction video on how to handle the Vapro Pocket Coude catheter to empty your bladder. A Coude or Tiemann intermittent catheter tip is slightly bended and tapered. This differs from a Nelaton tip, which is straight and rounded. If using a Coude tip catheter, insert catheter as instructed by your healthcare professional. Vapro Pocket Coude catheters provide 100% no-touch protection with a protective tip and sleeve and are offered in pocket-sized packaging for easy transportation and discreet out-of-home usage. You have been advised by your healthcare professional to start using intermittent catheterization to treat your bladder dysfunction. Before opening the packaging of the Vapro Pocket Coude catheter, you have to read the instructions for use that is included in every box. And remember to always follow the instructions you've received from your healthcare professional. Now let's start. Make sure to have the following items prepared. Soap and water to wash hands and the urethral opening or, if required, a non-alcoholic or antiseptic wet wipe, depending on your healthcare professional instructions. Towel and waste bin. A urinal or appropriate collection container. And, last but not least, your Vapro Pocket Coude catheter. It is recommended to perform this handling in a clean environment. Good to know, gloves are not really necessary in home situations when using any Vapro Pocket catheter. After you have washed your hands, you can open the Vapro Pocket Coude catheter package. This can be done by inserting your thumb in the finger hole or placing your fingers at the top of the strip and tearing down the side of the package. Now that the package is open, you can remove the catheter and place it on the open pack, which is left on a flat surface. The Vapro Pocket Coude catheter with 100% no-touch protection is still sterile outside of the package due to the red cap and the sleeve. Now you can touch the catheter anywhere. Before you insert the Vapro Pocket Coude catheter into your urethra, assure you follow the next steps. Wash your hands. Find a comfortable position. Some men prefer to stand for the procedure, but it can be done just as easily in the sitting position. Manipulate your clothing to access your genitalia. Lift your penis using your non-dominant hand and retract your foreskin unless circumcised. Cleanse your glands penis and around your urethral opening as instructed by your healthcare professional. Now you are ready to use the Vapro Pocket Coude catheter. Take the catheter. Remove the cap from the protective tip of the catheter. Then, advance the catheter into the protective tip, ensuring it does not protrude. Grasp the catheter with your dominant hand below the protective tip plate and insert the protective tip until the base comes in contact with the urethral opening, as advised by your healthcare professional. Even though you have cleansed your genitalia, research has identified that microbes are still present in the first 15 millimeters of the distal urethra. By using the protective tip of the Vapro catheters, you bypass these microbes, reducing the possibility of transporting them into the bladder, which may increase the risk of causing a urinary tract infection. After you have inserted the protective tip in your urethra as advised, you can fixate the protective tip in place by the thumb and forefinger of your non-dominant hand holding your penis, pointing it in a slight upward direction. This helps to extend the urethra and can make it easier to insert the catheter. Start to insert the catheter in short incremental pushes to allow the catheter to gently move up the urethra into the bladder as instructed by your healthcare professional. You can steady the catheter by putting pressure on the barrel whilst you move your hand to insert further. Insert the catheter forward until urine starts to flow. Be prepared to point the funnel of the catheter into the direction of the toilet or receptacle before the urine starts to flow. At some point, you may think that you have hit a barrier as it is difficult to insert the catheter further. If so, 
relax, take some deep breaths, or give a slight cough, and continue to gently insert the catheter as instructed by your healthcare professional. If these tips fail, stop the procedure and contact your healthcare professional. As it enters the bladder, you will see urine flow into the catheter. Continue to hold it in place. Once again, check the catheter funnel is inserted into the toilet or a receptacle. When the urine flow stops, you can slowly and gently withdraw the catheter, allowing for any pockets of urine at the base of the bladder to drain. When there is no further flow of urine, remove the catheter and then replace your foreskin, unless circumcised. Dispose of the catheter and any other material in a waste bin, wash your hands, and readjust your clothing. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions, concerns, or information, please reach out to your healthcare professional.